Hey, what's up guys? Just uh, checking in from the road. So I'm actually headed out to Pennsylvania to Stolen Wolf Distillery to work on a really cool project. So Eric Wolf and I have been talking back and forth quite a bit and Aviana Wolf as well. And uh, we've got a couple different projects going on. One with Shriner Spirits, but then Eric and I also have this really cool historic project going on. So he and I have wanted to find a reason to work together for a good little while. And the truth of the matter is that if the alchemist of the Black Forest of Indiana is going to go to any other state initially to distill anything anywhere else, it feels correct for me to go to Pennsylvania, specifically because so many of the Black Forest Germans of Indiana actually came specifically out of Pennsylvania, being the second sons of their fathers that were distillers and you know not really inheriting anything, traveling by flatboat down the Monongahela and into the Ohio River and into the Ohio River Valley. Um, not to say that I won't work with other distillers in other states, because I certainly will at some point. There's a couple uh, in particular that I would love to in the future, including Iron River Republic and Leopold Brothers, and maybe even get out and hang out with Mark Hatfield out in West Virginia at some point. But we've laid out this really cool mash bill, and I should say we didn't really lay it out. We found it in this old book that Eric told me about. So there's an old book, and I cannot re recall the name of it off the top of my head, but it was published by the Pennsylvania German Society. And it is a list of accounts from the late 1700s of a shoemaker and distiller. And amongst those accounts, there was actually a pamphlet for setting up a profitable distillery, whereupon a recipe was given that said that basically anyone who was used to stirring in three to four bushels of grain into a hogshead fermenter uh, would find the following information useful. And that information just happened to include uh, a mash bill, a very... I wouldn't call it a mash bill, but a rough outline of a mash bill that included one bushel of rye malt, one bushel of rye, one bushel of wheat, and three pecks of oats. So originally when Eric and I discussed me coming out to Stolen Wolf Distillery, we talked about doing an inverted version of my 60% corn, 17 wheat, 13 oats, and 10% caramel malt. It just so it turns out that when you do the percentages, those three pecks of oats become 13%. Uh, I've sent Eric yeast from Indiana, which feels pretty cool. It feels like stuff going back home, right? As well as cheese cultures to uh, mimic the style of, of souring that we use versus, you know, the more traditional hop style that you'll find on the East Coast or sour mashing is that where, you know, most of the, or all the rye really in Pennsylvania was really sweet mash, but uh, something different entirely. And, uh, you know, there's many of you out there who think that I hate column stills. Let me be very clear. I have never said that I hate column stills. I've always expressed that I thought that they had their place. What I have expressed is that, you know, the low rec Kentucky column still, although it has its place, I would be bored as hell running that thing on a continuous basis. What Eric has is not really a traditional low rec Kentucky column still. It's got a lot of cool peculiarities to it including uh, some peculiarities that we're going to take advantage of with at least one run of this special whiskey where we will be adding some dehydrated apples and raisins uh, into the process, mimicking some of the old school distilling processes to get more aroma and flavor. So stay tuned. I apologize for the bumpy ass video. Um, I'm driving. You know, the interstate is what it is. It's a little bumpy. Right now I'm in Kentucky. And I may do a couple more of these videos from different places on the road. Uh, throw the camera around here the other direction, let you see the road as I'm traveling. So, all right guys, that's what I got. I'll get back with you shortly. Day one here at Stolen Wolf Distillery. Let's see what we can get into. It's a cool little town, by the way. Very, very cool. There she is, guys. Uh, two days old. Doing the uh, Kvac strain. Actually, it's a combination of about 
I don't know, nine to 14 different provide strains that I've been propagating the past few years. I'm sure some of them have died out over time, but she makes a really fruity whiskey. Wow. That, that bridge was, that was something pretty special. We've got a lot of covered bridges in Indiana, but they're mostly up north, like up around Anderson. I think, um, I think it's Anderson. They call it like the uh, covered bridge capital of the, of the United States. Right. That's what it looks like. 